First thing I knew about the Midsummer Barbecue was um, the five missed calls from Daniel. We seen that Gary was uh, getting some crowdfunding to go to his restaurant. What are you doing on Sunday? Fun to cook in a barbecue and here I am. Uh, to be honest with you, he's been really kind and he's got all everything ready. So the boys are all raring to go, but none of us knows what's going on. So I'm going to ru rub my face in a bit of charcoal, look like I've done some work. <laughs> Uh, we're going to cut a bit of uh, beef, a bit of pork, a bit of lamb. Uh, we're just going to do some ox heart um, and some barbecue cauliflower. So yeah, no, it's a it's really chilled out atmosphere. <laughs> it's that casual, we don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, everyone pretty much knows each other as well. Everyone's worked at Midsummer House before in the past. Being the busy boys that we are and just the nature of our industry, it's pretty difficult to meet up. But yeah, we're all good friends, but we've never all been in the same place at the same time, so that's quite exciting. It's great to see them all together. It's been so long, you know, this is a bit of a process of all the boys that have been through my kitchen, so uh, that's great. I've never met Gary before. Obviously read lots of his tweets, very amusing. He's a Twitter queen, isn't he? A, um, Instagram, Twitter and what have you. I read his tweets all the time and I think to myself, fuck me, I wish I had the bollocks to say that. But uh, he's saying it for all of us, so fair play to him. You know, it's good to finally meet him after talking many times on the phone. So obviously I'd heard of Wreckfish through the social media, Twitter, Twitter sphere, massive. So I did a little um, crowdfunding project last year and it wasn't successful, but the first person I went to was Gary um, because of his experience. Well, I think that, you know, the crowdfunding route, I think Gary's out of anybody in, this, in the trade has proven that, you know, it, it is very viable. And if you do it right and you respect it and keep your feet on the ground with it, which he has, he's doing, well, I think the proof's in the pudding there. For, for Gary to achieve kind of one of the most funded projects in the country um, is really impressive and that's, that's why I wanted to get involved. I'm also doing a dinner later in the year for Gary because um, it's, it's with the help of everyone else that, that gets these things going. It's a logical step if you've got the support and you've got the guidance that can get you there. You know, he's the torch showing everyone how to do it. So for me, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. I'm happy to help. 